Hey, this is Connor with Congruent X, continuing our intro to the Power Platform series. We're gonna take a dive into solutions and talk about the one thing that changed the way I use solutions. So what is a solution and why should I be using them? A solution is basically just a folder that contains components. You can then use a solution to move those components to new environments or even new tenants. So let's take an introduction into solutions and then we'll talk about the one thing I learned that changed the way I use solutions. To create a solution, head to make.powerapps.com, select the solutions tab and hit add new solution at the top. In our case, let's say we've got two environments. We want to add a new view to the account table in one environment and move that to our second environment. So I'm just gonna name this solution account updates. I will select publisher. I won't go into a lot of detail here, but basically the uh, publisher is a way for you to keep track of who is creating solutions. Okay, so we are within our solution now, and you'll see we don't have anything in our solution yet. So there's two actions we can take. We can either add a new component, so a new app, a new table, a new flow, things like that, or we can add something existing, which is how we're gonna start. So views are tied to a specific table, so we need to add the table first. Let's go to add existing table, and we'll select the account table. If I wanted to select any other objects here, I can hit select objects, and I could add different columns or relationships that I want to include in this solution. But for now, since we're adding something new, I'm gonna skip this and we will just bring in the blank account table. So now our account table's been added. Again, there's no objects related to this table. There's no columns, relationships yet. So we're gonna go to the view section. Again, we can add an existing view if we maybe wanted to make changes to that. In our case, we're gonna add a new view. It's gonna be called simplified account view. Maybe we've got some requests that the views are a little too complicated the way they are now. So let's just add a couple columns here. Let's add account name, account number and address to keep it real simple. Let's publish this view. All right, now we can see this view's been added to our solution. If we head over to the Dataverse tab and hit tables, select account and head over to the views, you'll see our new view here, simplified account view. Again, a solution is just a folder of changes. Any changes or additions you make to your system do get added to the system as a whole. We're just containing a small subset of your system. In our second environment, you can see I've got a Power Pages trial here. We're gonna import those changes into this environment. You can see if I hop into the account table here and go to views, I do not have that view in the system. In our solution, we're gonna go to overview and hit export. We see two options here. We can publish all of our changes. It's always a good idea to do that. I know I don't need to because I just published the view. I can check for any issues. I'm feeling a little risky today. I'm not gonna do it. And here we see two options, managed and unmanaged. Those are two different types of solutions. This is a bit of a hot topic in the community. So I'm going to stay away from making any recommendations on what you should be doing. I'm just gonna explain what these options do and you can decide what's right for you in different scenarios. A managed solution is what Microsoft recommends when you are taking changes from one environment and moving it to another environment where the intent is you're not gonna be making changes. So that would be like a testing environment or a UAT environment or a production environment. Now there's two main features of a managed solution I'll cover here. The components in a managed solution are intended not to be edited. You do have control over this though. So depending on the object in your solution, you can specify if you want this to be editable in the managed solution. So if we go to our view, select it and hit advanced and managed properties, because this is a view we created new, we can specify if once this is included in a managed solution, can you make edits to it? By default, it's set to yes, but if I were to check this to no, as soon as I move this into a new environment, no further changes can happen to this view, which 
can be dangerous. There is an option to prevent deletion as well. Now you won't always have control over this. Objects that are contained within another managed solution or are out of the box features from Microsoft, any of the out of the box views or columns, you will not be able to turn off customizations for. Those will have to stay open. The second main feature of a managed solution is the deletion behavior. So if I push a managed solution into my target environment, and I delete that solution, the solution gets removed, so the folder, as well as all of the components in that folder. If we were to use an unmanaged solution and push that to our new environment and then delete that solution, you're only deleting the folder. You're not deleting the components. All of the components within that solution actually stay in that environment. So today we're gonna start with managed and then we'll move to unmanaged. So let's export this solution. My export's done. I'm gonna download that and you'll see we get a file. Let's hop over to our target environment and import this solution. When you hit the next button, the system is gonna check for any dependencies. And all that means is the system is checking if there's anything in this solution that needs to be in our target solution before we can add it. So for example, we added a view to the account table. If we didn't have an account table, if we didn't have the account table in our target environment, that's obviously not gonna work. We will hit import. Okay, our solution is imported. If we take a look at our account table, go to views, we will now see our new view, simplified account view. Again, since this is a managed solution, if we delete this, it will delete the view and the solution from this environment. Before we move on to unmanaged, let's talk about what happens when we create a new version of this managed solution and push it into our target. All I need to do is export this again. I don't have to make any changes. Let's download that file and you'll see our version incremented by one. You'll see two new things. At the top, it says this solution contains an update for a solution that's already installed. And if we go to advanced settings, there's actually three ways you can do this. The default for a managed solution is upgrade. What this means is anything not present in your new solution that is present in your old solution will be deleted. So for example, if I were to remove that view from our solution and push this as a managed solution, that view will be deleted if I choose the upgrade option. The opposite of that is update. All this does is just update the solution. It will not delete any components that you remove from this solution. Probably the least used option, but is pretty cool, is stage for upgrade. Staging for an upgrade actually keeps your original solution and your new solution together. And this is great if you have to do any data migration when pushing a solution. For example, if we were to add a new field on our account table, that replaced an old field. But we care about the data in that old field, so we wanna move the data to the new field. So what we could do is export our solution as managed, import it, and specify stage for upgrade. So now our new field and old field will exist. We can move all the data from one field to the other. And then if you select your original solution, you can apply the upgrade. In our case, we're just gonna use the default upgrade. And now our solution is on version 1.0.0.2. Before we move on to unmanaged, let's remove our managed solution. You can't mix and match solution types. One solution either has to be managed or unmanaged in an environment. Again, deleting this managed solution deleted my solution as well as all of the components. So if I go to account and views, you'll see our view is no longer there. Head back to our dev environment. And we will export this as unmanaged this time. Let's download that file. If you notice, our version did increment, but we don't have this manage tag in the file name anymore. Let's hit import, select our file, and import. All right, we've imported, and same before, now our new view is in the system. It's just in a unmanaged solution. I just exported a new version of our unmanaged solution. Let's see what happens when we try to apply an upgrade to an unmanaged solution. Again, we get this notice that's saying this solution package contains an update for a solution that's already installed. And if we open advanced settings, you'll see there's only one option for unmanaged solutions. You can only update 
a unmanaged solution. So when you import an unmanaged solution, that will never delete components. And one note before we move on to my favorite feature of solutions. If I delete this unmanaged solution, I am only deleting the folder, the solution itself. The new view we brought into the system will actually stay in the system. The way it works is any solution you create gets stacked on top of the default solution. Every environment gets a default solution. That is the base of your system. It is a unmanaged solution that contains every component in your system. There are some exceptions, but not gonna cover that today. So when you import an unmanaged solution or managed solution, the components do live in the solution, but they also live in the default solution. So on to my favorite feature of solutions. One thing I would run into a lot is I'd be working on something, I'd create my solution, I'd add all my components, and now I've got this you know, monster solution with you know a bunch of different tables in it, a, a bunch of apps. And once I'm ready to move that to a different environment, no problems, export, import. The issue comes when you start to make changes or improvements to that solution. Before, there's two ways I would do this. I would make a change in my base solution that had a bunch of components in it. So even if I was just rearranging some views, it would take forever to export and import that solution because there's so many things in it. The other option is I would create a totally separate solution that had just the change I wanted to make and I would push that across the environments. The problem I ran into is if I'm working on multiple things at one time, so I've got five, six, seven new solutions all living in my dev environment, when it comes time to push that to a new environment, it's kind of difficult to do that. You can either use like a third party tool to combine them in a solution, which is what I did. Or again, you could have just made all your changes in the original solution. Problem there, that solution is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's gonna be slower and slower importing and exporting. So the solution to this problem is patching. This has been a feature in the Power Platform even in the D365 days, just not a lot of people talk about it. So the way this works is you have your main solution and you can clone a patch or patches that include new features, new changes, and you can just export your patches to your new environments. So you can create a patch for let's say five new things you wanna add to your solution. That way you have control over what gets pushed and what doesn't. As an example, let's clone a patch of our solution. Let's give it a different name. Maybe as a part of this patch, we want to add a new field and add it to our view. So I'll call it new field update and save. If you take a look at this banner, what this is saying is while you have open patches, you can't make edits to your main solution. You need to use your patches. So if we back up into our solutions page, you'll see our new solution here. And you can see it's got this patch label on it that lets you know it's a patch. So let's hop into that solution and it'll be blank. Again, this is great because you can kind of start from a blank slate without having to work in a giant solution. So again, let's add our account table. I will select objects because we want our existing view in this patch. Now let's add our new column. We're just gonna call it new column and it'll be a text field. There's our new column. Now let's open our view and add that column to our view. and publish. Okay, now we can export this patch. Again, this works with managed or unmanaged solutions. Since our target environment is unmanaged, we have to use unmanaged. Okay, now that I've got my patch downloaded, let's select our patch. And there's two differences you'll see here. Under patch, it says yes, and I don't have any special updating options. So now we have our main solution and we have our patch. If we were using managed solutions, a cool thing you can do is you could remove patches. So if you add five new patches, you could potentially remove the first two because you know, maybe there's an issue with them and then you could move on from there. So the last step to patching is rolling up your patches into your original solution. So to do that, just select your main solution, hit clone, and select clone solution. That's gonna take all of your patches and roll them back up into the main solution. So it's a great way to keep your solutions clean while still having the control and separation of different features you're adding as you're developing. 
So now our patch is gone and it's just been included in our account updates. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it down in the comments or reach out to me or CongruentX directly at congruentx.com. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.